Hello everybody, and welcome back to Terraria. So as you might notice, we now have the, I think it's the solar chest plate. We also have two new weapons, Star Wrath and the Terrarian. Now, I didn't know that there was actually a good yo-yo in the game, but I looked it up and apparently, this sucker can reach the highest DPS versus bosses in the game with the right accessories. And because we are going to be going into expert difficulty soon, and we'll get an extra slot, I thought, why not go ahead and get them? So I hunted down this little sucker. It took me like a good 30-40 minutes. So we can buy the yo-yo glove, which allows us to use two yo-yos. What that means is it will basically use a duplicate of the yo-yo we already have. And the counterweight, which will hit an enemy for, it'll just be a little tiny, another little tiny yo-yo basically. So we want to buy both of these. Now, right now, just so you guys know, our weapon is this. And this is our sword. It is incredibly powerful. Um, from looking up in open areas, this weapon has the highest DPS in groups. So I got this from the Moon Lord. And I got this from the Moon Lord. This is my yo-yo. Which fires that little homing at, uh projectiles so let's go ahead and head back to base now let's see we're gonna want to hit up the anvil I believe no the loom I think for a white string increases yo-yo range am okay so it's almost daytime and we're going to want to craft a yo-yo bag with that. What this allows us to do is basically, as I was explaining earlier, use our yo-yos like a ton. So now, we have a lot further range because of the white string. Let's see, I want to try to find an enemy. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am. We, we're going to want some more gold, so... Let's use the pirate map we found. I saved these for nighttime. A little fun event we're gonna do. Um, let's go ahead and use this. I made some of these to make it so enemies drop more gold. Uh, to craft them, all I did was I used a bottle of water along with five of the gold dust this guy sells and crafted them here at our little flask area. So, what we're gonna do is try to take that on. Um, is there anything else we got? The portal staff. Oh, I also crafted a cell staff. So we have this little blue little guy down here, as you can see, who will attach on enemies and deal constant damage. In short, we're pretty dang freaking powerful. Let me see if I can't find the goblin, though, before we start. Mm, I know I could net those, but... Oh, wait, I think they all go in the same uh, area, so... No, Monarch, Purple. I don't need a bird. Cool, so I can fish later on. Um, let's put these back here. <coughs> Good deal. Um... Like that. Rotten chunks are just so I can craft more destroyer items, because destroyer will probably be very good to farm for gold as well. Druid, it doesn't look like we have them here. Well then I don't know what to do. Something will happen. And it won't be my fault. Alright. Let's spawn the pirate event. Where the pirates at? Oh, does it spawn it at my location?
I guess it will just take a second to happen. Hmm. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Alright, so the pirates has arrived. The pirates have arrived. Let's go ahead and get right over here. We're doing this mainly because pirates do give a nice amount of gold. Along with the fact that we can get a really good gold farming ring from killing pirates. Okay, who's firing a gun at us? Gave more gold than this. Oh well. If you die, you die. I just want the flying, the uh, the Dutchman to come out. Getting so many stinking banners. Now we want to keep that. I think I can sell those for a nice amount. Um, yeah, here are the bars and such we've collected. I also crafted that, but it wasn't too powerful uh, compared to what we're using right now, at least. Uh, what I wanted to store in here was the keg. For later on, because I will end up using that. You can also drop off the fishing supplies. Are we not going to get a single, like, you know... Oh, let's go ahead and use this too. Are we not going to get a single flying Dutchman spawn? You can see the multiple of attacks. That would be very powerful on expert difficulty. <laughs> Golden sofa. Nice. Do that. There we go. I'll make it so any of them that spawn to the west will just die. Do we really not have a goblin tinker? Well, then what I could probably do is just kill out right here. Maybe let the pirates kill them. Well, I don't know. Looks like the NPCs can pretty much handle themselves. Oh, Cutlass. There we go. Now they're surrounding him. Come on, NPCs. One of you guys want to die? Who wants to die? Nurse, no, you stay out of this, nurse. Wait, did I see your health right? How much health does... Dang it, the pirate's been defeated. Okay, I thought I saw... 3,000 health. I was about to freak. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that flying Dutchman DPS. Okay, let's see if we got anything good. Cutlass. Nothing so far. It looks like we got unlucky there. Quite unlucky. Uh, I guess we can just sell this stuff. You. Uh, landmine. Oh, these only sell for copper. Okay, that sells for gold. Just for memory's sake, even though I probably won't end up using them anymore, I'll store these as well. I don't want to get rid of them. I've had some good times with those. They're incredibly powerful. <clears throat> Dirt blocks, you say? Okay. Um, what do we want to do now before it turns to the next... Hmm. We really need our NPCs to die. We'll have to wait till nighttime for that. 
Ah, for now, I have a good idea. So, uh, let's try to kill Plantera. It could be kind of fun. Except this time, let's do it without an arena. I have a feeling I'll be able to face tank it. Sharpened. Did I lose my money buff, or did I never use my money buff? So I'll use the Icker. Because we are going to be fighting against Plantera, and Plantera is not normally a joke. Okay, so if I remember right, we added Plantera's bulb this way. And right down here. Yeah, we did. Let's see how much stronger we've become. Okay, Plantera. So it doesn't hurt me. Oh, knowing how much it actually does hit me, though, I wonder how it will be on expert mode. Oh, we finally got ourselves the pygmy staff. Temple key. I wonder if that sells for anything. And the Venus Magnus. Magnus? Whatever it's called. We kept time. Oh, well, we still have quite a bit of time. Let's see if we can find another Plantera. Oh, there's another plant here. Go for the sword, see how that deals. The sword's weaker. I believe. Oh, let me go to... Yeah, the sword is definitely weaker, 1v1. Uh, versus a boss like Plantera. Wasp gun. What's that? 23 damage? It seems kind of weak for a Plantera weapon. Ah, it's one of those. Okay. I guess we could sell it. What's that? Eye patch. That was hardly visible. Oh, something you might notice. Um, with our armor set, we can charge forward like that. We take reduced damage, 30% I believe. Um, whenever we have a charge. And where's Plantera coming from this time? Okay, from the east. Come on, Plantera. But, um, it also makes it so we have light, and whenever an enemy does hit us when we have a charge, they take a burst of damage. And remember, if it was nighttime right now, we'd be even stronger. Because of the buff we have on us. Another temple key. Nettle burst. Summon the thor thorn spear. Hey, yeah, another plant arrow. We're getting decent gold from plant arrow, actually. Oh, wrong item. No, yo yo, thank you. The yo-yo does a modest amount of damage. I mean, it's like 30,000 health brought down that fast. It's pretty dang strong. Another pygmy staff. Oh, and a plantar trophy. Cool. I wonder if we can find another plantera. <laughs> I mean, the things are spawning everywhere, right? It seems as if so. We got, do we got anything rare nearby? <laughs> Let's see. Go down here. Oh, we have a mimic in the area, I guess. 
I don't know where in the world it is though. I won't waste time looking for it because too many mimic kills, man. I've already gotten everything I even could possibly need from a mimic. Oh, I think we have one down here. Yeah, we did. Let's kill this one last, and then we'll be good. What was that sound? Sound like a music kind of thing? I don't know. Boy, do you... Do I have a message or something? What is that? Hey, whatever that sound is going... It's freaking me out. Anyway, guys, it's weird. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, the dog's barking in the background. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, guys, have a good one.